Gundam fans, and welcome back to another two episodes of Mobile Suit Gundam Turn A Gundam. Well, not Mobile Suit, but Turn A. Regardless, it's all part of the same franchise. This is episode 26 and 27. So, in the last few episodes, we've gotten Diana, like, exploring things. Like, her options, she doesn't want to go back to, she, she does not want to go back to the moon. All these things, and we also have Quill, which is, or Kill, technically Kyle. Um... Being a better Diana than Diana was herself, which is really awkward. Also, we have some people that are just not agreeing with orders and they don't care anymore, and so they're just attacking the Earth folk. Also rampaging the villages for food and water and things like that. And not really being the nicest of people. So, how are they going to resolve all this? What is the uh, turn A gun I'm going to do? I, I have no idea. So, let's continue this right here. So far, I'm just more confused on where this is going to go than anything, because it doesn't have a direct path. Like, are they all going to lose, or are they all going to win? Is it going to be an all-out fight? What's going to happen with them? It's very up open right now. Did they find the hippie village? I swear they found the hippie village. They're, they're hippie, hippie ex-moon folk, is what they are. Damn, Sachi, you just, you just going full-on bitch mode again. Because, Lauren, you're kind of dense. I guess you're better than most main characters, because in most anime, the main character is so dense that they don't even know what the fuck their shoes are. Like, their low left foot from their right foot, they don't understand there's a difference. They just know there's shoes that go on them. I mean, define clean. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Wait, did it get upgraded? Because it looks a little differently. Don't tell me she's in the hippie town. Fucking space hippies. Let's go. Okay, that doesn't look like the hippie town, but space hippies. They're just wearing, you know... Odd outfits. Probably for a festival. Okay, yeah, it looks like a festival, so it's 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 not hippie down. You know, for that dude being all psychotic earlier in the series, he's kind of I guess he must have suffered some memory loss or something. Are those like pancakes? Oh no, they're like little burritos. Okay. Oh. Oh, I didn't get an upgrade. It's just their machines are sitting on there too. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. The thing, the golf looks weird. That little kid took a liking to him. Well, he found her. <laughs> what can I say? He found her. Oh, it's just so cute. He made a friend. His memory going to return, ain't it?
Say it. Say it. Oh, your cute, poor, cute little friend. Also, she's gonna return to the moon. Okay. Gundam. Oh my god, he said it. My god. Man, this dude literally went from being a monk of memory loss to I, I need to go take care of the Gundam. Damn, his hate boner is that real. They don't care. His hatred for the Gundam extends paper. Dude literally just jumps out of it. Right in front of them. Ironically, it's behind him. So he took a, he took control of his ship. Understood. Dude, dude on foot with a rocket launcher gonna take a Gundam on. Let's go, dude. This guy's a, he just has such a hate boner. It's incredible. It's it just it's so. Oh my god. Oh no! I still don't think that's gonna cure his Gundam hate hate hatefulness. This this dude right here, like this dude. And then he goes back to being a monk. Understood. Alright, that's the end of that one there. Let's get into the next episode. Episode 27. Let's go. Oh, they're cutting wheats. So we're gonna get them to swap places again. Kind of. Their spacesuits are strange. Oh, so these are the Moon Race people in there, and of course it's Azaku. I love how those two just kind of like are on their side now. They just like switch sides easy. Oh, now they got mobile armors, okay. I guess they get to be in back with each other. Oh, we got the hippies. Please, hippies!
fucking space hip. <laughs> Jesus, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh man, that's a lot of power. So we're starting to get into the actual nuclear portion of Gundam, because every Gundam series has some type of nuclear something. Usually it's like an outlaw thing, like in Seed or you see where they try not to use it. But this is technically you see, technically it's not. It's it's a little bit of both. So yeah, nukes are gonna be a bad thing and they're gonna learn that real quick. <sighs> Ooh, clean shot. That was smooth, I'm not gonna lie. I've seen a lot of mobile suit fights, but that, that one was smooth. I guess she would make a pretty good captain. Whoa, shit. Yeah, they're about to fuck up. And we got the hippies. Hey, they recognized them. Yeah, because they're set with probably like nuclear reactors themselves. They're just bad news. These are going to go off and it's not going to be good for anyone. Fuck. This is really not going to end well for anyone. Hey, Lauren's, Lauren's the only one speaking truth. Yeah, the reason why nukes in most of the series were like banned or outlawed was because of what Lauren just said. They don't just cause mass destruction, they also destroy the land for years to come. There it goes. Oh yeah. Because nukes are so fucking bright and powerful, it's like the day the sun just came up again. Well, we got our first experience of nuclear explosions. Yay, Gundam is now experiencing nuclear explosion time period. So yeah, that's the end of those two episodes. So I'm just curious, are they going to use more nukes, or are they all going to agree that... That's a bad idea because, I mean, most serious people, most of them agree. Like, definitely in Seed where both sides were like, yeah, we should not use these. And one side's like, but we're going to use them. And the other side's like, no. And then some people on the side, both sides were like, no, no, don't. Please don't. Don't know. So are they going to do the same thing? Are they going to make like a truce where no nuclear weapons are going to be used now that they have them? Because both sides kind of have the access to nuclear power in a way now. So 
what's going to be coming to them. Anyway, though, I guess I will see. So if you guys are liking this video and you have yet to do so, and those of you that have, I thank you so much. Please slash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next.